Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about types of bends on conduits. Okay, so usually we bend conduits in order for us to be able to install conduits in different angles and to um, negate or to uh, transverse a obstacle on our conduit run. So aside from bending a conduit, we could also use some conduit fittings which, which we will be um, discussing on a separate video. But this time we will be focused on the different types of bends for conduits. So the first one is an elbow or a 90 degrees bend. So it is used to turn at a 90 degree angle. So the bend is also known as the stub bend. No? Because a stub bend or a 90 degree bend has two parts. So the stub is the, the length of the part of the bend or the part of the conduit which is the shorter one. And the longer part or the longer side is called as the tail. So usually the elbow or the 90 degrees bend is used to turn our conduits into a 90 degrees angle so especially if our bend is coming from the floor then we are go we, we would like our run to go up no to go to go up to the wall so we, we will be using the elbow or the 90 degrees bend then have also the offset bend so it is less than 90 degrees bend so whatever um whatever type of um, bend which is this than 90 degrees so it is called as the offset bend so it is used when the conduit crosses an obstacle or when the conduit is entering an electrical box so a very common use of an offset bend is if you are going to connect our conduit into a junction box or a utility box or a uh, pull box so that is the main purpose of the offset bend aside from um, crossing over obstacles okay Next, we have the round saddle bend, or we could also call that one as a uh, as a um, round saddle bend or a rectangular saddle bend. No, so there are two types of the saddle bend, no, the total saddle bend. But first, we'll discuss the use. No, the use of this conduit is to run across circular objects like pipes. If it is um, rectangular objects, we will have that one for the. Uh, rectangular uh, saddle bend. So the other um, name for the run saddle bend is the three uh, three point saddle bend. No, because you will need to have three different bends. If it is rectangular, it is called four point saddle bend because, uh, like this one, this is a photo of a four point saddle bend. You need four different bends in order for our uh, conduit to cut to to transverse no to transverse this rectangular obstacle if if the obstacle is ra uh, round so our bend will only have three no for this one here then you will transverse the circle or the pipe or the cross section of our pipe so that is another bend then move back to the horizontal so that will be a another bend so that, that that's why it is called the three point saddle bend or the round saddle bend if it is uh, rectangular, so it will be called rectangular saddle bend for rectangular obstacles, also known as a four-point saddle bend. And the last one will be the back-to-back -back bend. So uh, the back-to-back -back bend uh, has two 90 degrees bend on each end of the conduit. So it is usually used if we have here, no, we have two boxes here, then we need to, I and mean, then our, um, our conduit, no, is running on the horizontal then we need to go up vertical in each side so we need to have two 90 degrees bend so that is called a back-to-back -back bend okay so i believe that will be all for this video i hope you understand something and as always enjoy learning